Good morning, everyone. Jim here from Storm Warning News. And I don't see them much anymore, but you used to see signs at railroad crossings that would say, stop, look, and listen. In many cases, that was before there were crossing gates that came down to keep you from going across the tracks when a train was coming. Uh, stop, look, and listen. Well, that phrase has been bouncing around through my mind and my spirit since I got up a short while ago. Stop, look, and listen. What it's telling me is we all need to stop, look, and listen concerning everything occurring around us right now. Not just a pending railroad strike. Everything that we are seeing, feeling, smelling, tasting, hearing. Stop, look, and listen. Railroad strike, transhumanism, uh, brewing world war, uh, geoengineered mosquitoes, all of these things that we are keeping an eye on right now. Collapsing economy, I should say morphing economy, because it's morphing into the new one world economy. But there's more. There could be things that we are missing. And that's why we need to stop, look, and listen. We focus on so many things. We focus on this hand. But are we seeing what this hand is doing? We are being distracted. We are being manipulated. We are being controlled right now. Don't cede total control to the powers that be. Let the Holy Spirit be your control. Ask the Holy Spirit Help me, Holy Spirit, through the power and blood of Jesus, help me to stop, look, and listen. There's something that we're missing. There's something else. There are outliers that we're not noticing. Maybe we're feeling them. I'm feeling them. This is another one of those on-edge mornings. The electric anxiety that I've spoken of in the past. There's something that I am missing. Something I can't see. Maybe you are having the same sensation. If so, comment below. This always occurs late in the week for me when it does occur, Thursday or Friday, that electric anxiety, that something is budding, something that may come over the weekend. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But we need right now, I recommend that we stop, we look, and we listen because there's something else out there. We need to be praying. We need to be praying fervently. We need to be praying without ceasing, asking the Lord for his guidance and his help, his blessing, his encouragement, his wisdom, and his discernment. Things are moving fast out there. Time is out of whack. How many of you are seeing repetitive digits on your clocks, like 333, 1111, 111, whether it be on a clock, on a, maybe on a timer, on a coffee pot, maybe on your computer, maybe on your phone, whatever uh, devices you use to keep track of the physical time. How many of you are seeing repetitive digits? For me, it's very often 111, 333. For a while, it was 1111. Saw 1111 a lot for a period of time, not seeing it lately. We're being warned. We are being warned. We are being guided. While the powers that be are doing their level best to manipulate us, we are also being guided by the Holy Spirit. It's a quieter voice. So we need to stop. We need to look. We need to listen. It's as though we need to have eyes around our heads. Well, those are the eyes of the Holy Spirit that can see 360 degrees around us, everything. Things that are not apparent, things that are not apparent in the natural, but in the supernatural. And how much of what occurs in the supernatural eventually spills over into the natural. Be on guard over the next several days. Be seeking the Lord Jesus. Ask him to help you to stop, look, and listen. Be prepared spiritually. There's something we're not seeing. There is something about to occur. A number of things. 
the next steps in that tumultuous transition toward the tribulation. Be at your best in Christ, I encourage you. Sometimes when I come on here and start talking like this, I feel like I'm giving you orders. I'm in no position to give you orders. Let me see, I'm encouraging you to do these things. Stop, look, listen, pray. There is a new tide coming in. There is a tsunami coming in. There is a flood coming in. There is fire coming. Things that we cannot see right now, but we know that they're coming. Tsunami, flood, rain, fire, shaking, change, tumultuous transition. These are the phrases right now that are popping in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I encourage you right now. Pray. Pray. Pray all day. Pray every minute that you're alone, no matter what you're doing, when you're by yourself, when you're in some manner of prayer closet, pray. Ask the Lord to show you, to guide you, to bless you, and to protect you. Changes are coming. The next wave, the next level. Be ready as we watch for railroad strikes, as we watch for collapses, as we watch the things that the mainstream shows us as we watch the reporting by me and by others. Pray no more deeply. Ask Jesus to help you. Get ready. The next wave is coming. This is Jim signing off. Until the next time, God bless you.